What are you saying? It's your boy Spuds, welcome to Spuds' Kitchen. I am going to show you how to prepare chicken properly, okay? And for my ladies, um, I'm gonna do a porn star martini. I know you lot love that drink, so I'm gonna make a porn star martini for you, okay? I know I'm in my robe, but why am I dressing up? We're all in lockdown, there's nothing else going on, so I thought, why not show you how to prepare chicken? Cause you lot are buying it! Yo, buying it! Social media is in a tizzy over this advice from the CD. Yo, buy it how you be making chicken. I'm gonna show you how to really make chicken. So, today we're just gonna use uh, chicken drumsticks, okay? Normal chicken drumsticks, all right? Make sure you get that. Make sure it's defrosted. The way it can be defrosted is if you just, yeah, and then you do this. This is a tester as well. Yeah, see, if it was frozen, it'd be like, bing, you wouldn't make no noise, okay? Yeah! First thing I do is, so I get my board. Make sure you have a wooden board. I don't open the chicken. The chicken's not, we don't open the chicken yet, yeah? You don't start with the chicken. What you start off with is lemons. Cause what you lot ain't doing, you lot are buying it. You're putting chicken in the sink. You're putting chicken, you know, in, 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 yeah, just in the sink. You're just boiling it really, yeah? So first thing you do, you need to get your lemons. What I do now with my lemons, I make sure that the juice is in there. So I just roll that around. So the juice is nice and juicy. Juicy. Zesty. Warm. Like that. You get a knife. Yeah. You get a sharp knife. Ah! You cut your lemon into cubes. Okay? What? Just one lemon in it? Yeah. You just need one lemon. You just need one lemon. So save your lemons, yeah? Because we're going through a lockdown, yeah? People are getting furloughed and that. It's hard times. You can't be cutting up bare lemons for the chicken. One lemon for all of this chicken. That's what you need. That's what you need. Well, not all the chicken, but we're going to do eight, innit? Hi. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're going to do like eight chickens, okay? So you can also use lime, but um, unfortunately, the um, corner shop didn't have, uh, the boss man didn't have the lime, so. He only had lemon, so we just make do. Cold water's rolling, yeah? It's rolling in there. You dash your lemons in there. Just fill that up, not to the top. We open the chicken. Be careful now because there's a lot of um, salmonella. Salmonella, 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 bacteria, all them stuff. I know I ain't got the correct term, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's got, it's got, it's got stuff on there. You don't know how, you don't know where this chicken's come from. You don't know how they dashed the chicken in the thing. They could've just dashed it in there. They could've killed the chicken, ripped off the skin and just dashed it in there. You have to make sure you have to wash the chicken. Make sure you hear that noise. You grab your chicken leg, you put one in there. But then, then there's only four left. Yeah, we do eight chickens. Cool. Then, make sure you hear that noise. You wrap round. You don't want. You don't want. You don't want to get the oxygen. You don't want the oxygen to get to the chicken. You just wrap that back round. Yeah. Put back in the fridge to cook for tomorrow. You know, when I say wash, people are like, what do you mean wash? What? What? With a sponge? With a with what? What? With wash up? No, 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 no. It's simple. You grab the lemon, you grab the chicken, and you wash. That's, that's it. This is it. That's what you do. That's what you do. You just rub the lemon upon the chicken in all the grooves. Okay? Get the juice in there. Yeah, man. You're not cooking no lemon chicken. Imagine there's one girl that went on my live. She's saying, depending if you want lemon chicken, is if you want to wash it with lemon. Chicken. If you want fried chicken, you're not going to use lemon. You're trying to kill my boy. Can you imagine? You just grab the lemons like this. Just rub. Just watch the hand movements. Watch how I'm delicately massaging, soothing the chicken leg, the muscles. Mm, you like that, innit? Watch. After your chicken is washed, it should look like this, okay? See how mucky the, the, the water is and infested and mucky the water is? That's because the chicken's been cleaned. Yeah, we wash things, we wash things, man. Now what do you do? You take out the chicken? No, 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 no. You must drain the chicken first with water and start again. 
You just wash that chicken again. Huh? The chicken should look beat up like this. Look how beat up the chicken is. This means it's been cleaned. I'm beating up the chicken. I'm beat. Okay, stop quickly. I'm beating it up, you know. I'm beating it up. And the, your lemon should look like this. If your lemon's not like this, you haven't washed nothing. Your lemon should be finished, finito. Then you get the big boy. This is now the seasoning tin. Yeah, this is what you season your chicken with, okay? Because this is the washing out thing, this is the season one now, yeah? Hey, Shostra, just look at it. Flick of the wrist! Look at the flick of the wrist! Now, me personally, in fact, what I do, in fact, I check the chicken, because sometimes you can take off the skin, you can take off the skin, but me, I like the skin because the skin's washed, so I don't mind putting it in there. But any other bits that you just don't want in there, you know, like this, this looks mad. This looks mad. Come here, come here, you. Come on, come on. Now, this chicken looks mad, but when I season it, I'll eat this one, babe. I'll eat this one, don't worry, it's fine. But the rest look calm, though. The so much times it's hitting the water, I like, can't believe it. Anymore, the bomb is having it. washing me too much times, man. The Drain chicken again. has been washed. All man. the bits is coming out. The All chicken the bits. Been you wash again. Yes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so um, what seasoning we're gonna use? Right, so what we can use? Oh, you put it here. Right? That's cool. So <laughs> we're gonna use black pepper, of course. Okay, black pepper, of course. Okay, chicken seasoning, nice and basic. Yeah, nice and basic chicken seasoning. Yeah, garlic herb seasoning. Okay, and I know for the people that miss Nando's and. The grilled peri flavor. I'm gonna bring that to you right now. You know why? Because I've got Nando's peri peri rub, smoky barbecue. So these are the four seasons that we're gonna use. It's quite simple. This is Spud's kitchen right here. Simple basics. Yeah. The chicken has been washed, cleaned, finessed, maturalized. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, that means when it's been matured and then alized. It's been alized with it, yeah? What I would start off first with, a bit of garlic herb seasoning. Now, you don't want to do too much. You just want to do this all over. That's it. Yeah, not too much of it. The chicken seasoning. Seasoning. Okay, a little bit too much. The pepper. Now, some of you don't just do salt and pepper and paprika. Yes, you can use pepper, but there's other seasonings involved. Do you get what I'm saying? There's more, there's more flavor. There's, add more palate to your tongue. You know what I'm saying? Extra virgin olive oil. Just a bit, just a tad, all around the chicken. Cool. That's enough. Get your smoky barbecue flavor, you rip that. And we just... Look, have a look at it. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Look, coated. One more thing. You Too use. much. Liquid seasoning. Put that all around there. Yeah. Make sure you hear that noise. Baby, don't you? I'm just massaging it. This is this is how you massage a girl's back when she's tired, stressful day. You grab it. You need this effluage, petrosage, hack it a bit. That's what you have to do. Just hack the chicken a bit. You have to just hack the chicken a little bit. That's what you have to do. Just each chicken gets a little hack. That's what it is. With the little pinky. That's how the seasoning gets inside there. Another thing I do as well, I get a knife and I just I just I just juke it up a bit. Ah! Just so the seasoning inside the meat is marinating. You get your cling film. The, the time on this is just not helping. Okay, so yeah, it's ruined. So you wrap. Yeah, and then that way, there you go. Seal that with approval. Look, no, no oxygen get to that. Just make sure. Yeah, fresh to death. Okay, you put that in the fridge to marinate. Show you how to do a porn star meal teeny.
for my ladies now. This is the bit when you're, you're right, your chicken is marinating. You let it marinate for like 20 minutes. Yeah? And now we're going to do the porn star martini. Okay? That bit. How do we do the porn star martini? While the chicken is marinating, I'm going to show you how to do a martini. Yes. I'm going to show you how to do a martini. First, we need to get our fancy little glasses. you need for a martini yeah is martini <laughs> uh, passion fruit <laughs> syrup and stuff like that now if you're smart you get absolute to just give it to you in a bottle okay that simple yeah pour the martini in like so that goes in like that a little bit messy. This is going to be really messy. Yeah, this is going to be really messy. Right, um, put it aside. Goes like that. Make sure it's secured in. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. We don't shake our booty. The girls do that. So, mama, how you going, eh? Where you come from, eh? I've been working in this bartender about five, six years now. You know, I've just been making martinis and uh, sex on the beaches and uh, expressos all day, you know? That way. Not that way. That way. Either way, it's going to spill because um, there's ice and uh, there's juice. Get your glass. Yeah, a little bit messy. And you just literally wait for the chicken to marinate. <sighs> Strong. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> See? That's how you make a porn star martini. The easy way. The spuds way. In Spud's kitchen. Um, your chicken should look like this. Okay. Marinated. Mm, it's popping out of the pan. Get yourself a bacon tray. After you wash your hands, you have your bacon tray, and all you do with the chicken is literally just place them down like that. Yeah, you make sure you wanna, you wanna, you wanna grab all that seasoning in there as well. In there, then place. Okay. What we're going to do is pop that in the oven for 45 minutes on, you know, 190, 190, 180, 200, doesn't really matter, 45 minutes, okay? Um, but you're supposed to be checking every uh, 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 half an hour. Just after half an hour mark, you check it to see, you know what I'm saying, if it's looking good. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks, okay? Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! <laughs> Um, we're back now. Um, the chicken is in the oven cooking. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you how to wash rice as well. Yes, yes, you wash your rice. What? Wash the rice? No, yeah, you do wash the rice. And I'll show you. You get your rice. Why that's up in there? You just dash it in there. Dash, 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 dash. You just drain a little bit out. And all you have to do is just mix it around. This is how you wash rice. There's no lemons involved this time. You put the water on the chicken and then what? You just rub the chicken with your hands? Exactly. You're gonna rub whatever, you're gonna do whatever you need to do, you're gonna clean it, or else you can soak it in vinegar or some other kind of substance, whatever. So you, you just make sure you get all the muck. You see that you see how it's going in crystals? You see the crystals? You just get rid of that. That's what you have to do. You do this about three, four times. About three, four times. You drain it. Because you want the rice to be you want the water, sorry, you want the water to be one centimeter above the rice. Yeah. Probably a little bit less than that. Put that on there. Pull it on gas mark, what, five, six? Yeah. Get your lid, normal butter. Some salt. Yeah. Sprinkle that in there. Okay. Then it's all of it. <laughs> Not too much, just that will do. Yeah. Not too much. You don't want it too buttery. In there. Put the pot on. Okay. 
And you're going to leave that until um, you see bubbles, until you see, until you see it boil. Then what you do, it's on gas mark five, six, until you see the bubbles come up and stuff like that. And you see it, you know, looking all juicy and good. Then you put it down to a two or three and you let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay. And we'll see how that looks. So guys, um, the rice is currently brewing. I think the chicken's done. Let's go and have a look. And that's how you cook chicken. Just normal thing. I'm going to do a little gravy as well. I ain't got time for that tutorial there, but you know, the rice will be done. The chicken will be done. I'll show you the final, you know, how it looks. But um, yeah, 40 minutes in there. Look how it looks. Crispy, seasoned, tasteful, not tasteless. That's your food. Do a recipe like this and maybe, just maybe, you can get it right. A few moments later. Come, come. Everything dazzle dazzles. My dogs don't speak in Spanish. Patrolling around in a stick and it's manual. I won't roll around stuff if you know I don't have to. Leave, leave, leave my card at the yard just case I'm glad that go in my name. My cousin, my uncle, my auntie, you chilling and sipping on gin. My daddy on the raid. Yo, still need no. Make sure you like, comment. Uh, I don't want to say it. Just do it. Look what I've done. All by myself. No help. Yeah? So just follow the thing. Yeah? Rice prepared. Chicken prepared. Serious, this is how you make the food. This is how you make your food. Bringing it, I'm bringing it back. back, back. The attendance, I'm needing a stack. I've been in, I've been in the pit, should be reeking a cash pint, leaving a witness in mass.